Hello, my DIYers. So, I'm an organized junkie. Did you guys know that? I put together two pin board styles as a memo board of things I need to do and inspirations. I feel blessed, so blessed, to look at your recreations from Instagram who have tagged me with hashtag LisaBolanoDIY. So I print them out and definitely keep them coming. I love what my beauties have done with my ideas. I look at them every day to remind me how awesome you guys are. My motivation. <laughs> Let's start with the studded look. Method 1. I ended up using a stretched heavy duty canvas. I chose 16 by 20 inch to fit around my vanity. I picked up a roll of corkboard at Walmart in the office aisle and trim it to fit onto the back of my canvas. Corkboard roll comes in different lengths so choose according to the size canvas you will be using. This one is a self-adhesive. If you picked up a plain non-sticky roll, use some glue to stick it on the back like this. I went ahead and stuck a few of these picture hanger strips to hang on my wall later. On the front of the canvas, it's time to sketch a pattern. I'm using a pencil and a ruler to create this. Draw a line within the canvas frame. I chose 2 inches at the corner depending how big your canvas is. Adjust the measurements and every line I drew, I skipped the same amount of inches before drawing another line until I reached the other corner of the frame. And that's how it looks. Once I drew all the lines going parallel to the canvas, I'm gonna draw a line going perpendicular at each line. I chose a half an inch going outwards. Next thing is to connect the half an inch line and this will create a boxed in pattern. This side looks good. Now I just repeat these steps within the canvas frame. After sketching, I'm going to nail it using upholstery brass nails. I ordered them on Amazon. You can find them at the fabric store too. I insert each nail onto the line, the pattern that I drew, and hammer it down into the wood frame. Here's a tip to avoid finger injury. Use a pair of scissors to hold the upholstery nail when hammering. Gripping the nail with the scissors also avoid the tack from being bent and making them crooked. Now the first project is all done, the studded pin board. I used scrapbooking materials found at the craft store to make my motivation board. You did an amazing job on my past tutorials, so crafty and pretty, I love your work. And next up is my second method with pom-poms. This is what I used, a large cork board. I found them at the office supply area of the store like staples. Some fabric, I chose linen and it's so thin so I doubled up with two yards. I can't forget my little guy, hot glue gun and some glue sticks. Leave the fabric flat on top of the board. I squeeze the glue following the inner wood frame that meets the cork material and flip the fabric back to glue it. And since I had to double up, I also glued the frame again and applied the second layer of fabric on top. I gave myself about 3 inches of extra fabric around the whole board because once you are done gluing the front fabric on, you're going to wrap the leftover fabric onto the back of the board. store I picked up some trimming about three and a half yards of white pom-poms. Black would be an amazing chic pop of color. Before I add the trimming I used a coaster at each corner of the cork board to draw a perfect shape curve. You could also use a vase or a cup. After I drew my fourth curve outline, I started to trace it with a thin layer of hot glue and placed the trimming on top. 
Once the pom-pom trimming are on top of the glue, hold it in place for a few seconds before adding more glue all around the frame. Yay! Finally, I reached the end. I cut off the leftover trimming and glued the end to meet where I began attaching the pom-pom trimming. And you thought I was done. Not yet. July 4th is coming so I wanted to add a festive decor on my board. So I made a garland full of stars. I seen it on Pinterest and thought I will show you how I made mine just in case someone wanted to make this. Definitely didn't invent this at all. However, someone who did is a genius using sample paint chips. I took a bunch from the hardware store, it's free which is great, and a hole puncher from the craft store and just punch a bunch of stars out. I love this little tool, I think I'm going to get a few different shapes for other decor ideas. And just use some hot glue and glue it to a string. Be careful not to burn your fingers because I made the mistake while attaching these stars onto the string. Overall, it's an easy project and here's my editing office and also my ideas in my vanity area. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys love it and be inspired. Make sure to check out my blog when you can. And did you guys see these?